Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for a package that my friend Walter had sent me here, this giant thing. I, I'm a little scared to open it. I haven't done an unboxing in a really long time. This isn't the first time Walter has sent me something before. Let me, uh, let me show you here. So a while back, I saw his notes here and everything too, but a while back he sent me these, um, uh, Astro Boy trading cards from Japan. They're from 1996. It's still sealed and everything too. It's kind of crazy. I, I feel like I don't have a right of passage to actually open these. I'm gonna keep them sealed. Uh, and then also sent me these really awesome Final Fantasy VI pins that I'm just still like, I've never seen anything like this before. I've, I'm just amazed. So we have Celis here. And we've got Strago. So yeah, I mean, Celis is basically like one of my favorite characters, aside from Locke uh, in Final Fantasy VI. So I was I was speechless when I got that. So I'm a little bit nervous about this because it's a much much bigger package here. I uh, we had talked about him giving away his magic cards to me. I used to play a lot of magic. I used to do like tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, and I uh, I don't know if this is just magic cards here because this is a lot of stuff. Uh, I I have no idea. So I guess let's open it. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so Walter, you left me some notes here. I'm not gonna read them yet, just because. I don't want to spoil it for myself. I want to. Be, I want this to be as raw as possible. So, I like blind unboxings like that. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Well, this is already not magic. <laughs> we have this really really awesome Sailor Moon pillow. This is so old. It's so lumpy. But this is oh god. This is amazing. <laughs> Holy cow. I have um. I, I really like old school Sailor Moon and I have like a lot of like trading cards, I have puzzles, I have all kinds of stuff. Maybe I'll show you guys sometime, but yeah, I, I have a lot of Sailor Moon stuff and this is something to add to the collection. This is crazy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Um, oh my god. What the heck? Oh gosh. Okay. So, I was talking about... Okay, I was talking about, um, <laughs> this is from Sailor Moon S, uh, having Sailor Moon trading cards. Uh, here's some Sailor Moon S sleeves and uh, a little box, well, a, a little box full of a lot of things. Uh, Sailor Moon cards, Sailor Mars, Sailor Mercury here. Uh, there's some Sailor Moon stars. Um, ones in here too. There's some really nice foil character cards. Sailor Neptune. Oh my gosh. And then these. I've never seen these before. But it's just like little thin yellow papers. These are gorgeous. Look at those. I've never seen these before. Ever. This is already a lot to deal with. Um, so there's a bunch of like Sailor Moon stuff here. This is amazing, just totally amazing. So uh, he also got me this face mask. Face masks are really popular to use in Asia and I've always wanted one of these actually. I've never had a face mask. They're usually just kept like, if you have a, a cold or something, just to stop it from spreading, but it's also used for fashion, it's really popular. So this is actually really cool. It's really comfortable too. That's really awesome. I've always wanted one of those. And then this, I, I, I don't even know what to say to, to this. Oh, what the heck? I don't even. I don't. Okay, guys. So I have a Dragon Quest one. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Um, I can't believe this. Okay, so look, I, I'm scared to open these. I'm very scared to open these, but they're Dragon Quest uh, soundtracks. It looks like with booklets in them. 48 page illustrated booklet. I, I might open this, but very carefully. So we have one for Dragon Quest 1. 
We have uh, one for Dragon Quest IV Volume 1. We have uh, Dragon Quest IV Volume 2. And Dragon Quest IV Volume 3 here. I, I'm a big Dragon Quest fan. I, there haven't really been any new releases, so I haven't really been talking about it, but in terms of old school uh, JRPGs, I love Dragon Quest series. I love how traditional it is and how traditional it's been over the years, with 5 being one of my favorites. And then 7, uh, but I've never, never seen these before. I'm just, wow. Wow, wow. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I have a lot of collectibles in this apartment. I, I like the fact that I've been able to accumulate so much, but nothing like this. Nothing like this. Okay, so apparently after reading some of Walter's notes, I didn't want to like spoil too much for myself, uh, but it seems those are audio dramas. I don't know too much about the, uh, the Dragon Quest boxes that I just, uh, I just showed you. I don't know too much about audio drama, so if anyone wants to enlighten me, leave a comment below. I, I've never seen anything like that before, but I would love to know more of Walter. Maybe I'll message you or something. Um, but next up, I have um, some really old school Magic the Gathering cards. Apparently there's a booklet in here from 1994 as well. Um, this is, this is scary. <laughs> this is scary in a good way, though, because uh, I'm, uh, yeah. This is, this is awesome. I'm very, very excited about this. I, I didn't play so much uh, uh, a long time ago. Like I only started playing what, maybe like a couple years ago. So I started with New Phyrexia and I stopped at Innistrad or so. Uh, but I didn't really play too much more uh, after after that point. Uh, but, and I was doing like tourneys and like closed draft tourneys. But yeah, so here's the inside. Okay, so we've got a lot of old school cards here, Car. Like, I. This, these are from like really long time ago at this point now. I was too young to play Magic. I think I was playing like, Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh! But he even kept his like. his sleeves. Like, this is crazy. Not sleeves, but the, the packaging. So we have like uh, cards from Fallen Empires. Uh, let's see, the Dark. What else do we got here? I love these. So cool. I I don't keep my I don't keep mine at all. Chronicle. Uh, let's see. Homelands. I probably should keep these kinds of things though. This is really this is really crazy. And then here's the guidebook. This thing is old. I'm gonna take good care of this. But yeah, so there's a bunch of land cards. Summons, blue counters, like all kinds, basically everything you would imagine. Um, yeah, and then this just is like a rule book telling you how to play the game and everything. This is nuts. This is, I can't believe this. I'm speechless. This is just crazy. Walter, wow. <laughs> I'm, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I don't, I'm speechless. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for sending this over. This was really amazing of you to, to do this for me. Uh, and I mean, I hope all of you who've been watching have enjoyed this little unboxing of treasures because they are treasures. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these away in, in some nice homes. I'm just like flabbergasted right now. So I hope you enjoyed and please stay tuned for much more content um, this week and just a bunch of content coming up in the future. I have a lot lined up uh, in my schedule and I'm so excited to show it to you. So uh, a lot of surprises, a lot of things coming in the mail for me right now actually. So I'm, I'm really stoked, I really can't wait to, uh, to share that with you. So I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend and a great whatever and I'll see you later, okay? Alright, peace.